Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. You know, for the past few weeks, I haven't uploaded any video on this channel, mainly due to my work. I was out of house for the past few weeks for work purposes, so I didn't really get the time or energy, you know, to upload a video because I was really busy and yeah, it was really difficult. But now I have some time, so I decided to come up with a video today. So yeah, rather than waiting any longer, let's start. So to, in today's strategy, what we are going to do is that at first we are going to start with a low bet and slowly after each and every loss, we are going to increase our bet size. But while doing so, we are going to also keep in mind that we will increase our chances of winning, you know, simultaneously so that obviously while we are taking more risks, we can increase our power probability too at the same time you know so that's how we are gonna go about this strategy so let's begin I'm gonna start with one dollar unit size okay so as you can see the last number was one so we are gonna start our betting on the columns okay with the columns we are gonna start our betting with this strategy so yeah we're gonna bet on the last hitting column at first so let's spin Let's target 20, you know, let's not drag this video really long and okay. So after a loss, so what we are going to do is that, as I said, we are going to increase our bet size, but obviously at the same time, we are going to increase our probability of winning. As you can see, the last time it was two is to one, you know, so the odds were against us really. So now we are going to go to red and black. Okay. The last number was black. So we're going to go to black. Okay. This time we have a 50, 50 chance. Okay. Last time we had something around 33% chance. So this time we're going to go with $2. Okay. On black. Let's see if we can get a win this time. We don't, don't worry. So now from uh, colors, we are going to move to the dozens. Okay. Now in this step, either you can or i can say in this progression you can either go with three dollars or four dollars okay but i'm gonna go with three for getting back to you know to square all square but you can go with four obviously but that will turn into a martin bill so i don't want to do that so this time we're gonna go with the last two hitting dozen okay and we're gonna go with three dollars let's spin and i'm gonna tell you what you need to do if we even lose this one okay Okay, as you can see, great, we have again lost. So this time you need to check your session stats. Okay, we are down by literally nine. Okay, we are down by nine. So we need to make sure that we get back to a new session high, right? So obviously this time we are going to bet with an amount so that we can get back to a new session high if we win the next round, obviously. So this time we're going to bet with 10 because uh, we're going to bet well, with two dozens okay so we are gonna bet on with ten dollars yes on the last two hitting dozens okay not on this one but this one let's see and there is a limitation obviously we're not gonna go over that which I'm gonna talk about obviously okay we have on finally so as we can see, we are back to our new session I because this is our first win literally while playing with the set strategy. But don't get demoralized, okay? Because it has many stages as you can understand. And we are slowly increasing our risks. But at the same time, we are increasing our probability of winning too, as you can understand. So that's how this strategy becomes a bit safe one, you know? So yeah, we are going to again go back to the base with one dollar okay and we're gonna bet on the third column let's spin and we'll be hoping to get some uh, direct wins you know that's what we should hope but okay this time it's zero so we're gonna do an empty spin okay it's black so we're gonna bet on black with two dollars this time and as i said while going to the dozens from the colors you can easily bet with four dollars you know but i'm going with three to keep things a bit more conservative okay so this time we're gonna go with three dollars and bet on the last two hitting dozens okay we are off to some rough starts 
we see another loss great so this time again we are gonna go for the last two hitting dozens and this time we are gonna go with ten dollars this is the this is a spike kind of a jump you know it's a big jump i understand from three to ten dollars on both dozens so we are going with 20 literally and i'm gonna tell you what you need to do if you even lose this round also okay so hang on and as i said there are limitations okay so I'm not gonna ask you to keep on playing if you don't win you know so as you can understand it's a long process but the main objective behind a strategy like this is to make sure that if we win by the stroke of luck on our very first round we're gonna win big okay whether you start with one dollar we're gonna get two more you know if you start with 10 we're gonna win 20 more but if we don't win you know because the odds are against us in that case we are gonna slowly increase our bet size but simultaneously our probability of winning is also going to increase so that's the main plan you know behind a strategy like this let's see because i was trying it out earlier and you know either on the first round or on the second round with the colors you know i was winning back to back but it's fine you know while giving you the demo because any of you can face this kind of situation while going online with it if you decide to go online with it only okay so we're gonna go to black now okay so now again we're gonna follow the process so this time with three dollars three where well, we're gonna go with three dollars on the last two hitting dozens you know Sorry, I should have gone with single dozen, you know, I went with two dozens. I'm sorry. I should have gone with a single dozen, the last hitting dozen. But anyway, you understand the process. Okay, again, we're back to the base step, you know. I should have gone with the single dozen, anyway. Well, this is what I was talking about, you know, direct hits. Direct hits, you are going to get direct hits. But for getting those direct hits, you need to hang on in the game. And a strategy like this gives you that chance, you know, because we are we are only increasing our risks in accordance to the probability of winning more. You know? When the odds are coming in our favor, we are only increasing our bet size at that point of time. Okay, great. So again, we're going to bet on the third column or you can, you know, uh, stay on the sidelines for a round. That's fine. Completely fine. Okay, let's bet two on the red. Okay, great. That's another win. Now, when you are gonna get, as I said, that when I was trying it out in the practice sessions, you know, earlier, I was either getting uh, direct hits on the first round, very first round, or I was getting some hits while betting on the colors. But yeah, I had to go to the dozens many times but while you are gonna get wins like this you know either on the first or second round you'll see that your session wins are increasing pretty quickly at first it may seem a bit boring but while you keep on playing with it you will see that you are slowly increasing your chip counts better be safe than sorry isn't it we need to hang around for as long as we can in a game like this okay great another direct hit so I know that many of you may have uh, skipped this video or may have, you know, turned off, turned it off after seeing the first few rounds because we were off to a rough start, you know, as we, you all saw. But, you know, this is the essence of a strategy like this. Again, we are going to bet on the first column. I don't come up with anything which I haven't tried myself, you know, because I know that I never ask you to go ahead and try it out with your hard-earned real money you know but maybe some of you maybe uh, after playing with this strategy may decide to go ahead and bet with real money so i don't want you to lose your money so that's why i try it out many times myself at first and when i see that yeah it's working you know after testing out all of its aspects i then only come up with a strategy here 
okay so we're gonna go with three dollars on the second dozen this is where i messed up on the last time when i i was demonstrating it anyway so we have a win great so whenever we are gonna win on the first three rounds here you can see that on the third round if we win so we are gonna be back to square you know because for the first round we are losing one and the second round we are losing two so totally we are losing three but on the third round if we win with three dollars as you can see so yeah that's gonna give us not we will not be back to square but if we lose this one the next round and the next round if we win we are gonna be back to square i mean when we'll be betting with two dozens you know so on the fourth round i mean but on the betting with on the fourth round you can increase your bet size you know if you feel more comfortable doing so but anyway so again we'll be back to the base you can do your calculations okay i don't want you want to confuse you i have calculated this progression properly and then i'm utilizing it so you can understand what i'm trying to say okay so we're gonna go to black we win great so we are up by 11 and as you can see as i told you that we are only increasing our risk or bet size when odds are coming in our favor at first we are literally betting with 33 percent chance you know not even 33 percent because there is that zero okay then we are increasing it by kind of 48 percent and then we are increasing it to two dollars and then to three dollars and that's how okay so again we are gonna go to red this time with two dollars let's see if we can get another win target it's to get to 20. great it's a simple strategy when you start playing with it you will see its effectivity you know as you keep on playing with it you will understand great another direct win so whenever we are going to get uh, wins like this, you know, on the very first round or on the second round or even on the third round, you will see the real magic of this strategy, you know. So, yeah. So this time again, we are going to bet on the first column. But here, what I'll suggest you, you can easily, you know, sit on the sidelines for another one because as you can see 25 25 90 the last three numbers were from the first column so it's pretty rare that the fourth number will also come from the first column you know so it can but i don't feel like it so i'm gonna set out two so i will suggest you to set out after getting a win you know on the very first round okay so now we are gonna go to the third column let's see what happens It doesn't give guarantees or anything but you can play it in this way you know okay so now we are gonna go to the dozens so sorry what uh i was trying to imply here maybe i messed it up so you can go with two dozens okay in this stage because i remember i mixed it up a bit earlier so either you can go with two dozens okay or you can go with single dozen if you feel like playing it safe you can go with two dozens okay that that was the initial strategy okay and then i mixed it up with another strategy and i went with one dozen but you can go with two dozens last two hitting dozens okay 15 and 33 so this time with three dollars but here, this is where I messed up, literally, uh, because I got confused telling you the betting amount. You can go with either $4 on each dozen or with $3. Because if you go with $4, then it will be kind of martingale, but you are going to get onto a new session high after a win. But if you are going to go with $3, you will be back to square, you know. So, yeah, let's spend. I'm going to go with 3 because I like to play it a bit more conservatively, you know. Sorry for the you know mistakes in the previous rounds where where i went with single dozens because the plan was never to go with single dozen okay so here in this case what you are gonna 
do is that we are gonna go with ten dollars this time that's what we have been doing so yeah the last two hitting dozens let's go and the next round would be the last round okay if we lose this round then we are gonna go to the next round and that will be the last round okay i'm not gonna ask you to keep on playing you know but if we don't need to take that step i'm gonna explain it to you anyway okay so we we are up by 15 so yeah i hope you understand why i did the mishap okay i gave you a demo at first with two dozens after playing with colors so that's the initial and the right strategy but after that i got confused and i kept on playing with single dozens after playing with colors that's not the right strategy because in this strategy what we are trying to do is that we are trying to uh, increase our probability of winning at the same time while we are taking more and more risks okay so at first we are going with column column with single column then we are going with a color while increasing our bed size and then we are going with two dozens okay so yeah now we are again back to the columns and yeah we're gonna go to the first column let's pen and i'm gonna explain it to the last step obviously the last betting amount what you need to take Okay, great, another win. So this time again, I'm gonna go to the first. As you can see, we're increasing our chip count slowly, but steadily, you know. We are starting really low, so we are we don't need to take really extravagant risks, you know. So we have control over our situation, over our losses. Because you need to remember in long run, casinos, always win okay so what we need to do is that we need to keep control over our own emotions anyway so yeah again back to the last two hitting dozens so this this can be a bit debatable one because many of you may say that well if we win on this round this is what i was trying to explain and i got messed up so if you win this round then we are going to be back to the square one you know because because we are losing one dollar on the first round and on the second round we are losing two so in total three so if we win this one we are going to win only three so back to zero yeah so here you can play with four dollars on both dozens then the equation changes you know on the next rounds but i don't want to take that much of risk so i'm going with three so that even if i lose this round i have another two rounds to go and if i win this one then i'm getting back to the previous session i not onto a new session high but a previous session high so that's fine by me but it can be different for you if you are a bit more aggressive player then you can play it a bit more differently but it's fine by me okay we win we're back to the previous session high as you can understand we were up by 16 and we are again back at 16 so yeah so we're gonna go with the second column I'm trying to limit my risks while increasing our probability of winning because we are going to get chances like this, you know, and the only way we can utilize or maximize, you know, these opportunities is by staying in the game for the longer runs. Okay, we are up by 18, so we are close to our target. And as you can understand, this video has been a bit long, but yeah, it's fine. So at this point of time, you can easily sit back if you want to. When you are getting a direct hit, I'm going to sit back too, you know. Sit on the sidelines for a round. I'm not oh, well, zero. It saved us. I'm not saying that it gives you guarantees or anything like that. But yeah, there is no harm in sitting on the sidelines for a round. You know. Yeah, if you're playing on the offline casino, you know, real casinos, you may will have to stand up and give your seat away. That's a different story. But if you're playing on the online casinos, there's no harm in sitting out for a round. You know. Okay, I'm going to sit out one second because it was again second column. Well, another time single column. <laughs> I could have easily played. Now, that's the gambler's thinking, you know. That's how our psychologists work. Well, we missed it or well, fear of missing out. You know, that's going to kick in next time. Look at it. Another second column. I'm not going to come into the temptation you know i'm gonna just sit back and let's see what happens next one okay great it will tempt you 
it's the game of temptation that's why we are here isn't it but you will have to control yourself great a direct win we have reached our target so i'm sorry for the mishap guys uh, those of you who have turned off turned off the video after that round maybe it has been a bit confusing but those of you who have stuck around you you can understand what i'm trying to say so i'm going to summarize the situation i'm going to explain the last step two obviously in this progression so that each and every one of you can understand and obviously that's another unique thing about this strategy is that there is no degradation you know in this strategy so if you win you can come back down to the base step so here is the strategy guys i'm going to summarize it so we are starting on the columns okay we are hit betting on the last trading column obviously with one dollar then we are moving to the last hitting color with two dollars okay then we are going to the last two hitting dozens with three dollars if we lose that one then we are going with ten dollars on the last two hitting dozens okay and that that's far that's the farthest we have needed to go while demonstrating this strategy in front of you okay but if we lose that round there is another step you need to take okay max twenty dollars on both dozens okay the last two hitting dozens not over that don't go any further than that okay that's the stop loss okay so at that point of time let's calculate we're gonna be down by literally nine uh because one plus two okay plus uh three three six so nine plus ten ten twenty so twenty nine and then we're gonna be betting with twenty dollars on each so literally forty nine i think sorry twenty twenty forty so we were down by twenty nine so yeah we're going to be down by 69 if we lose that round we didn't need to go that far but that's the farthest i'm gonna go okay i'm not gonna go over that so that's, this is the strategy guys that's the stop loss if you win at any point while playing with this progression you don't need to follow any degradation you can come back down to the base step okay and that's the farthest i'm gonna go as i said 20 dollars on both dozen that's the farthest okay so i hope you have understood this strategy and again once again sorry guys for the delays of the videos i will try to be more consistent but due to the nature of my work i can't really keep time nowadays but yeah i'll try to be more consistent with it thanks for sticking around guys and best of luck try it out on demo let me know how it works for you and if you have any suggestions or modifications that you want to make or if you have any strategies of your own that you would like to share with me and would like to see it get featured in this channel let me know about it i would love to hear it from you and yeah guys let me know how it works for you i'm gonna see it and then see you on the next video